once again, everyone. A good hand and a good heart are always a formidable combination. Intelligence also serves as a man's instrument in facing the world successfully. Man and a woman's intelligence is always full of substance. Right, Ryan. Intelligence with beauty and personality is, I believe, a perfect formula to combat any beauty titles. This time, we would get to know more of our candidates and we would be hearing from, some, from them some wonderful insights regarding the questions to be asked. This portion is quite nerve-wracking and needs some focus. So along this line, we sincerely request our audience to please refrain from shouting and holding so as not to distract the concentration of our candidates and for our judges to hear their answers clearly. In fact, I myself, Ryan, is thrilled to catechize the first batch of candidates. Our candidates will pick a number from the bowl and each number corresponds a name of the judge who would be giving them the question. So to our gorgeous and lovely candidates, whom I believe are very much ready and excited for this portion, good luck, relax. Let me now call in candidate number one, Ms. Zona Advincula. Applause, please. Good evening, Zoda. Good evening, sir. So how does it feel to be here on stage? Well, first and foremost, I am very happy that I am one of the candidates in this prestigious event, and I am proud also of myself. We're also glad to hear that. Anyway, you have stated in your bio data that you are recently taking up BSN. Yes. And uh, Visaya State University, Tolosa Campus. Yes. What made you choose teaching as your profession? Thank you, sir. Um, well, actually, ever since I was a kid, I love to watch fashion TV. And uh, my ambition is to become a professional model. But I don't want to defy the wishes of my parents. And that is to become a future educator. I love my parents. That's why I choose Bachelor of Secondary Education. Thank you. We are actually on the same line because I am also a teacher by profession. Anyway, I am just curious, Joda, what preparations have you made for tonight's pageant? Um, the preparations I made for this prestigious pageant here in the Valleda will first and foremost um, daily exercise and then I eat a balanced diet. Okay, so I guess you're now ready to pick your judge to ask a question. Candidate number one has picked judge number three. Mr. Dennis Arias, the branch head of Metro Bank Naval. Good evening, Congressman Gawain. Good evening, sir. Your question goes like this. Um, how would you promote Naval and the entire Piliran province as tourist destination in the Sparta region 8? Well, thank you, sir. Um, nowadays, we all know that we are living in a modernized technology. As a student, what can I do to promote Naval? First and foremost, I will post pictures through the internet, the beautiful sceneries, landmarks like the beautiful beaches, churches, mountains, and the and the 
beautiful places that we have here in Nabal. And for example, like we visited yesterday is the geothermal here in Nabal. That is one of the beautiful places here in Nabal. And then if I posted pictures through the internet, people all over the world walk here in Nabal. Walk here in Nabal. How beautiful Nabal, Nabal is. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Candidate number one, once again, Ms. Zoda Advincola. Let me call in candidate number two, Ms. Menchi Nakario. Ah. Very beautiful with or without makeup, Menchi. Thank you so much, Mom. How are you feeling tonight? Well, I'm quite nervous, but I'm very much excited and I'm happy, especially that I am here right now in front of you. And I'm very much grateful to be part of this prestigious competition. And I just want to say thank you to all the Balenos for your warm welcome. Thank you so much. Wow, did you hear that, Nabalenius? I can hear the excitement from the voice of Menchi. Thank you very much from the bottom of her heart. And I believe, Menchi, that you have joined and won many beauty titles. Do you think that it serves as your edge among the candidates tonight? Well, maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no, but... Actually, I believe that all of us here are beautiful and we're always serving at the crown, but it just depends, depends upon the judges. Okay, I see. Just last one question before I let you pick a number. What do you think is the most important part of this pageant? What do you think is the most important part of this pageant? Well, I believe the most important part of this pageant is we candidates will gain friends will will gain friends and we will know a different people especially here in Nabal and one of and again another is to show to Nabal that we we were not and Bisaya Kana are beautiful and intelligent people Okay, thank you, Menchi. I think the most important thing for me, I believe, with this beauty passion is not just exposing your beauty, but also getting to know more other candidates and the camaraderie that you share with each other. So I think it's time for you to pick a number. Right, Menchi pick judge number two. Mr. Edsel Yutz Castillo, the talent manager of Sex Bomb Dancers and Sweet Shockers. Good evening, candidate number two. Good evening. Um, you look so gorgeous tonight. Oh, thank you so and much. And I would like to acknowledge the MC and hostess who are so very nice and really doing great. Uh, my, que my question goes this way. If there is one part of your body that you want to change, what would it be and why? Well, I will not change any part of my body, for I am contented of what I am and what I have. For I believe that God has given me, has given me this physical appearance for He has a purpose. And as what the scripture says, we are created in God's image. So I believe that I am perfect, for God is perfect. That could be all, thank you. Very well said, candidate number two. Thank you very much, Ms. Menchi Nakaria. And for that compliment, Mr. Edsel Castillo, from my heart, thank you very much. That goes for you as well, Sir Ryan. Our sincere thanks and gratitude. Moving on, let me call in candidate number three, Miss Nicole Leong. Charming, wonderful, and gorgeous in this red gown. Good evening, candidate number three. Good evening. 
You are from Burawin Leyte, right? Yes, I am from Burawin Leyte. Okay, just for everyone who haven't been there yet, could you please tell these people what's good in Burawin? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the people of Burawin are very respectable, respectful, and we have a lot of beautiful spot there. That's nice. Is this your first time to be here in the Val? Um, actually, this is my first time. So, how do you find the town of Val? What can you say about this town? Well, the people of Naval are very welcoming people, very accommodated, and I'm sure when people come here, they shall return. Very nice. May I just ask, have you also competed other beauty pageants before you joined Miss Bagasongbol? Actually, last week, Friday, uh, I competed on uh, Miss Bagasongbol 2013. Okay, that's well evident because the confidence and the beauty that you have, you really can join many beauty pageants. Anyway, what quality do you like most about yourself and why? Well, the quality I really like about myself is about my being a knowledgeable person. Because for me, knowledge is the best defense that we can have. And I'll always believe that knowledge is power to gain advantage in everything you do. You must have the right knowledge in your advantage and at the right time. Because as what the Clarity Baron said, but there's no knowledge, there's no power. Okay. So that's where everybody, knowledge is power. Without it, we're nothing. So candidate number three, can you pick the name of your judge? Nicole has picked judge number six. Miss Mr. Runar Yunson, Icelandic Drink Corporation. Goddess of beauty. So I'll take this opportunity to be the goddess of 
her beauty tonight. You also are beautiful, Madeline. Thank you, Sir Ryan. Yes, um, is it okay if I can call you Alex for sure? Yes. Okay. Well, Alex, I am quite impressed with your bio data. I have found out that you as well have joined and won many beauty titles. What do you think is that one quality you feel is required for the pageant? Okay, all of beauty queens have a unique talent, skills, nor the looks. But I guess I have possessed the qualities that makes me a unique individual. Okay, I see. Thank you, Alex. Can you please pick a number? Judge number eight, attorney Thea Jessila Nuevez Zamora, the manager of Ilira Geothermal Incorporated. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Um, after years of waiting, we finally have our own Miss World 2013 in the person of Miss Megan Young. Now, what do you think were her qualities that made her own? Thank you so much for that question, Ma. I think all the candidates have the looks and the intelligence. I guess Megan Young possesses a character, the qualities that makes her a unique person. And for this, I think the qualities that she possesses is the dedication to what things that make her inspiration to work hard. Second is her the never give up attitude, believing herself that he, she can meet possible, the possible things. And lastly, her overflowing confidence and most of all, his faith to God. And I believe, and I believe that Megan Young possesses and makes God center of her life. That would be all. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Lady Noy. Candidate number four, Ms. Alexandra Tumaksa. Let's give an applause to our candidate number five, Ms. Ninia Shara Tagalog. Good evening, Ninia. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. You look so beautiful. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here tonight. We are much more delighted by seeing you here and being one of our candidates. Anyway, many of us has someone who molds and influences um, our life. Again, I'm curious, like who has the greatest influence in your life, Ninia? Well, speaking from my heart, I know this, some would say that this is a very usual question, but the truth is, the most influential person or I'd rather say people in my life are my parents. They're the only people that I think are perfect um, and is willing to do everything for me. They are the people who have honed me to become the individual that I am right now. The people who taught me the good morals and how to be a person that is very God-loving and a person who has compassion to other people. Thank you. Well said. So hail all the parents in the world. And away, can we pick your number? <laughs> Candidate number five has chosen judge number six. Mr. Ronar Yutson, Icelandic Training Corporation. Good evening, contestant number five. Hi, sir. Good evening. Uh, if given the chance to interview President Benigno Aquino III, what would you ask him? Thank you for the question once 
once again, good evening. If I would be given the chance.